Welcome to Wentworth Institute of Technology's Spring 2021 Morning Commencement. Will Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Ian Lapp, please bring the proceedings to order. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. The spring commencement in the 117th year of Wentworth Institute of Technology is now in order. Will the audience please stand for the posting of the colors by the Northeastern University ROTC Color Guard, followed by the playing of our national anthem. I now have the honor of introducing a very proud alumnus from the class of 1982 and chair of Wentworth's Board of Trustees, Greg Janey. Good morning. I am obviously very excited to be here right now, and I'm more excited to be here with all of you together in person. It's fitting that we're all here on the quad, in the heart of the campus. I'm a proud alum 
I have so many great memories. And I can speak firsthand of how great it is to think back on your hard work as a student and celebrate it right here on campus. As the first university in the Boston area to return to in-person ceremony, I think you should all give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> I am grateful for the opportunity to speak with you today. Some of you know my story. I grew up in Roxbury, not far from here. As a young man, I was unsure of what my future held. I did not know that one day I'd be running a successful business and serving as the chair of the Board of the Trustees for a university. I had spark inside me for creation, and this passion brought me to Wentworth. Wentworth represented an incredible opportunity to hone my skills, nourish my thirst for learning, and support my love for creating things. I earned my degree in construction management at Wentworth and was able to start a construction management company 37 years ago, thanks in part to what I learned here. Today, that business is thriving with projects throughout the Northeast and beyond. We've hired many Wentworth students and graduates over the years, and my industry peers can say the same thing because we know what you bring to the table. You possess the invaluable skills and experience that will set you apart from others in the industry. Wentworth has always changed with the times. It has always prepared graduates for anything they set out to achieve. I know that you will continue, I'm sorry, I know that you will continue to pivot and stay ahead of the curve and in your careers because of what you have learned here. There's no doubt in my mind. And I can say that because I once sat where you are sitting. I know your family, your faculty and friends are proud of you. Everyone from Wentworth is proud of you. You, most of all, should be proud of yourselves. And so I'm happy for you. And I'm also excited for everyone else who have had the chance to witness your creativity, determination, and passion to move forward in your careers. Thank you, and congratulations, graduates. I now have the honor and great privilege to introduce your president, Mark Thompson of Wentworth Institute of Technology, Dr. Mark A. Thompson. Hello and welcome to all of you. It's wonderful to see you in person this morning. It's taken a lot to arrive here on this day but you all made it happen, and I could not be prouder of you at this moment. On behalf of the faculty and staff, our Board of Trustees, and the entire Wentworth community, I extend congratulations to each one of you. It goes without saying that a lot has changed since the last time we held an in-person commencement ceremony. There are the usual obstacles that come along for any student navigating their way through college. But your class, of course, has found unique pressures and challenges on a global scale, including those of both a social and economic nature. But with each new challenge, you pivoted with grace. The entire Wentworth community thanks you for your flexibility and your dedication, both as a group and as individuals, to make things work for everyone. You should all be very proud. During my tenure here, I've marveled at the amazing things you've done, whether in the classroom or labs and athletic competition or when representing Wentworth out in the world. Today, we celebrate your many accomplishments and look forward to what I am very confident will be a bright future. While your success comes in large part due to your own commitment, 
I'm sure that you will agree that it's also due to the various people who supported you along your journey. There are faculty and staff who saw potential in you, who mentored, nurtured, and encouraged you. I'm also sure there are family members and friends who provided you support and encouragement when you needed it most. They perhaps made sacrifices to ensure that you would be here today. And they did this because they care about you. Class of 2021, would you please stand and express your appreciation to all of the faculty, staff, family, and friends who have supported you. Please stand and give them a round of applause. Thank you. I also want to personally express my gratitude to our faculty and staff for their flexibility and commitment to student success, our trustees and university advisors for their leadership and support, and the families and friends present today for entrusting Wentworth with your loved one's education. I also want to say thank you to each of you for being Wentworth students and to our families for being Wentworth families. Graduates, I'll be direct with you. The world you're graduating into is a far different one than existed even when you started at Wentworth. Further innovation will be required to tackle new complexities and to work within transformed industries. An ability to evolve over time is more essential than ever before. But you already know this. More importantly, you already know how to do this. You define perseverance. When certain opportunities changed over the last year, you were creative and found solutions where others would have been lost. The world needs Wentworth graduates. You are a second to none. I urge you to utilize the talents you've developed and fine-tuned here to truly make a difference everywhere. Give the world the benefit of your full creative capabilities. In doing so, you will also realize great success and fulfillment. I have no doubt that you will do great things. My optimism for a bright future comes from my belief in all of you and what I know you are capable of accomplishing. You have all the tools to succeed, and I'm eager to see the positive change you impart on the world. Please know that we are here, ready and willing to support you in your needs going forward. Your link to Wentworth is one that you will have for your entire lifetime. Congratulations, Class of 2021, and best wishes to each and every one of you. Thank you, President Thompson. Our keynote speaker today is Carol Wedge, the CEO of design firm Shepley Bullfinch. Among her many leadership positions, Carol served on the Wentworth Board of Trustees for six years and is a member of Boston's Green Ribbon Commission. She is also a trustee emeritus for Boston Architectural College and treasurer of the Architectural Foundation Board. And she is the recipient of the 2020 Edward C. Kemper Award which is granted for continued and significant service to the American Institute of Architecture and has an honorary doctorate in engineering from Wentworth in 2004. I'd now like to invite you all to view the screens here in the tent. And without further ado, Ms. Carol Wedge. Hello, students families, faculty, administrators, guests, and friends of Wentworth. It is my pleasure to have the opportunity to share some thoughts with you today. My name is Carol Wedge. I'm an architect and the CEO of a national design firm, Shepley Bullfinch. I have many connections to Wentworth, from joining architectural studio reviews to speaking at Women of Wentworth events and serving on the Board of Trustees for many years. Wentworth students, First, a huge congratulations on your achievement. You're completing your degree after years of hard work, and you're here celebrating those accomplishments and reflecting on your time at Wentworth and also taking the next steps towards your future and your career. 
The pandemic has and continues to challenge all of us. And I'm so proud of you for persevering and getting to today. It's a time of change, a time to explore possibilities and to join with others to solve some of the most intractable problems in our culture. These problems need interdisciplinary and intercultural solutions. Addressing climate change, the future of cities, future of health and community, and race and privilege are intertwined with all of these, and they must be addressed in new ways for us to have any hope of equity and the full potential of a just society. This past year has also opened a window to the future and an invitation to think differently. You are a hope for the future. Your ideas, your ingenuity, and creativity are more important now than ever. You are the problem solvers we need. Your co-op experiences have given you a taste of what's possible as you enter the next chapter of your life. So today I want to ask you, what will you do with your wild and precious life? Mary Oliver wrote The Summer's Day, a poem that ends with this line, tell me, what will you do with your one wild and precious life? I went back to that poem and was inspired by Jane Taylor's review, finding it in a message more deeply about living in now. Every day of our life is being lived consciously or unconsciously, right here and right now. So wherever you go, whatever you do, I hope you will remember to pay attention to the right here and right now. I'm joining this commencement to encourage you to imagine what's possible, imagine the impact you may have, the powerful voice that you have, and your ability to take action, to follow your dreams and create change. The decisions you make right here and right now can create a more hopeful and inclusive future. And I encourage you to embrace that future by being yourself because your authenticity and courage will be key ingredients to your progress and success. I wish you good luck, and I want to let you know the Wentworth Network is here to support you and help you as you go forward in your careers. So please embrace your one wild and precious life. All my best and a huge congratulations. A special thank you to Carol Wedge for her words of inspiration. I now have the distinction of introducing to all of you our student speaker, Sarah Williamson. Sarah. Sarah is a construction management major who transferred to Wentworth in 2017. She has completed five co-ops with three different construction companies and has been active with campus clubs. She has served on the executive board of the Construction Management Club, and since 2018 has also been involved with the Wentworth Environmental Collaborative, the Sustainability Committee. Wentworth Alliance, the College of the Fenway's Theater Program, and the Community Standards Board. Additionally, she took cross-registration classes throughout the Colleges of the Fenway, and was very involved with, with promoting the construction management major at Wentworth. Please join me in welcoming Sarah Williamson. Thank you, Provost Lapp. Good morning, President Thompson, members of the Board of Trustees, friends, family, faculty, staff, and my fellow members of the class of 2021. Congratulations to all of today's graduates of the schools of management, engineering, and computing and data science. I want to start by thanking some of the people who were instrumental in helping me to where I am today as a new alumna of Wentworth Institute of Technology's construction management program. Those people are my parents and staff member, Mike D'Agostino, who was an advisor to the Construction Management Club and is here receiving his master's degree. They were instrumental in providing the emotional and academic support that made it possible for me to be here today. 
I am sure each of us graduates has people like them who supported and guided us along the way. For example, when I was in California for co-op at the start of the pandemic, my dad helped rush me home in time for lockdown and quarantining, and my mom ran my remote campus during virtual learning. On behalf of my fellow graduates, congratulations and thank you to the family, friends, and other supporters who helped us get to this moment. Without you, we would not have made it here, or it certainly would have been a lot harder. Mike and the other faculty and staff of the Construction Management Program enriched my experience here. Mike goes out of his way to get to know his students and to help them in whatever way possible, whether it be a co-op opportunity or finding academic and scholarship resources. He is the one who chose me to compete in an Associated Schools of Construction competition, which we won and was a great experience. Without the support of our dedicated faculty and staff, today's accomplishment of graduating would not have been possible. I am sure each of us has faculty and staff who made the Wentworth experience so much better. There are truly some very supportive and special people who work at this university. I am standing here today, graduating in the spring rather than the summer like most Bachelors of Construction Management graduates, because I was off track for the duration of my time here at Wentworth. I transferred to Wentworth in pursuit of a community in which I could learn to be the best construction manager I can be. I made the switch to Wentworth because here I could pursue all of my interests and grow as both a person and a professional. And it helped that Wentworth has the best construction management program in the country. Each of us had our own path to success and our own view of what success looked like. For me, the Construction Management Club was a big part of my success here because I had opportunities outside of the classroom to do site visits, network with industry professionals, and attend industry events and conferences around the country. I was also chosen to speak at the largest of those conferences, the Con Expo and Associated General Contractors of America Convention, which occurred in early 2020 in Las Vegas. Your path could have been filled with different clubs and organizations, or you were a student athlete, member of one of the many COF programs, or it held exciting co-op experiences. We each had a different journey, but the destination was the same. My experience at Wentworth has been challenging, rewarding, and fun because of all of the amazing opportunities I had in and out of the classroom. I want to give a special shout out to my fellow graduates who traveled a non-traditional path or transferred like me. I am proud that Wentworth is a university that people come to, they choose to come here once they truly realize once they want, what they want from their education, their future, and the world. I know my time at Wentworth has prepared me, prepared me for the career path I want to have, prepared me for, to take risks that I hope will pay off, and prepared me to conquer anything I set my mind to. I know we all can conquer whatever we set our minds to. Thank you again, and congratulations. How about another round of applause for Sarah? Well, graduates, the time has arrived for the conferring of degrees. On behalf of the faculty, I have the honor to call for the presentation of diplomas to the worthy and approved candidates. The deans will represent and present the candidates for their respective schools. I now present Dean Charlie Weissman. President Thompson, Provost Lapp, Chairman Janey, students and guests. I have the honor to present the degree candidates from the School of Computing and Data Science. Molly Faye Duclos, cum laude, School of Computing and Data Science, BS in Applied Mathematics. Brittany Lynn 
Wheeler Dweiler, School of Computing and Data Science, BS in Applied Mathematics. Cody Dennis Cabral, School of Computer and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Michael L. Rivnak, School of Computer and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Anthony George Morganelli, magna cum laude, School of Computer and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Gia Lai Hill, magna cum laude, School of Computer and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Sarah Elizabeth Kaczynski, School of Computer and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Mary D. Broomfield, School of Computing and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Nicholas Edward Stoltz, School of Computing and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Hunter Michael Wintel, summa cum laude, 2021 Beatty Award winner, 2021 Alumni Association Award winner, School of Computing and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Stephen Michael Truong, cum laude, School of Computing and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Daniel John Roche II, School of Computing and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Luke John Hefield, magna cum laude, School of Computing and Data Science, BS in Computer Science. Adilson Texiera, summa cum laude, School of Engineering, associate degree in Engineering Technology. I now welcome to the podium from the School of Engineering, Dean Jose Sanchez. Provost Lapp, President Thompson, Chairman Janey, students and guests. I have the honor to present the degree candidates from the School of Engineering. Daniel Edward Giovannucci, Cum laude, the School of Engineering, Engineering Technology. Adriana Teresa Rochelot, Cum laude, the School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering. Samuel Tucker Johnson, Cum laude, School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering. Adam Christopher Tracy, Distinction, the School of Engineering, Civil Engineering Masters. <laughs> Tyler Joseph Cosma, magna cum laude, the School of Engineering, Civil Engineering. Jack Borden. Jack Borden, School of Engineering. Sean Michael McCormick, summa cum laude, School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering.
Kyle Ian Ford, the School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering. Alec Lee Hewitt, the School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering. Amin Akparnik Javani, the School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering. Martinez Baranauskas, School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering. James Edward Bednar, summa cum laude, the School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering. Kai Schreiberg, School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering. Nicholas Paul de Guglielmo, cum laude, School of Engineering, Electromechanical Engineering. I now welcome to the podium from the School of Management, Dean Cindy Stevens. President Thompson, Provost Lapp, Chairman Janey, students and guests, I have the honor to present the degree candidates from the School of Management. Michael Edward Mitchell, Distinction, the School of Management, Facilities Management, Masters. Angela Mary Turco, Distinction, the School of Management, Facilities Management, Masters. Sarah Elizabeth Williamson, Cum Laude, 2021 Alumni Association Award winner, the School of Management, Construction Management. Jose Chechnuck, the School of Management, Construction Management, Masters. Michael Joseph D'Agostino, the School of Management, Construction Management, Master's Degree. Austin Warren Stevens, Distinction, the School of Management, Construction Management, Master's. John Tevelasina Paramlaplan. School of Management, Construction Management, Masters. Robert McLean, the School of Management, Construction Management, Masters. Gregory Neil Lusky, the School of Management, Construction Management, Masters. Moller Lafrond, the School of Management, Construction Management, Masters. Edward Tumasimi, the School of Management, Construction Management, Masters. <laughs> Mordesia Sohei Choi, the School of Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Dadlisa Gamero Cabela Montilla. Magna Cum Laude, 2021 Alumni Association Award winner, the School of Management, Building Construction Management. <laughs> Josu Valeni, the School of Management, Building Construction Management. <laughs> Saviana Augustin Alvera Perez, the School of Management, Computer Information Systems. Caleb Nicholas Kaiser, the School of Management, Project Management. <laughs> Francis A. Gian Gregoria, the School of Management, Project Management. 
Heidi Ann Barbeau, the School of Management, Project Management. <laughs> Eric Gitton, summa cum laude, School of Management, Project Management. <laughs> Vanessa Ar Arevola, the School of Management, Computer Information Systems. Mariana Zabida Zapata, cum laude, the School of Management, Project Management. <laughs> Gregory Robert Lavelli, cum laude, the School of Management, Project Management. <laughs> Rich Carde, St. Fala, the School of Management, Building Construction Management. Richard Fantasia, School of Management, Construction Management. <laughs> Anthony Michael Pizzaveri, School of Management, Construction Management. <laughs> Diane Norkowitz, Norkowitz, excuse me, accepting on behalf of her son, Joshua Wobert. Summa Cum Laude, Alumni, 2021 Alumni Association Award winner, the School of Management, Project Management. Khadija Kersani, Computer Science, School of Computing and Data Science. Three candidates, would you please rise and remain standing. By virtue of the authority granted to Wentworth Institute of Technology's Board of Trustees by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and vested to me, I have the honor to confer upon each of you the diploma for which you are entitled with all the rights and honors thereto appertaining. Congratulations to all of you. Could remain standing. I now invite Eric Green to the podium on behalf of the Alumni Association. Congratulations. Thank you, President Thompson. It is an honor to stand here before all of you as a member of the class of 1995. Graduating students, I invite you to move your tassels from the left to the right if you haven't already done so. This simple act signifies your transition from student to alumnus in the continuation of your unique, meaningful, and lifelong relationship with Wentworth. Congratulations. Congratulations to our graduates. This concludes the commencement ceremony. Per state regulations, all guests are asked to exit campus at the conclusion of this event. First, would family and friends please remain seated until the platform party and graduates leave the tent. On behalf of the entire Wentworth community, congratulations to our graduates, their families, to our faculty, and all. Best wishes on the journey ahead.